Okay. <laughs> G'day guys, what's going on? Matt Kelly here, and in this video, I promise you, I go fishing and I catch fish, but I didn't take the cameras and plan to record uh, an extended video, so I wanted to just shoot this bit of context. Here's what's interesting. In the past, I've restored boats. Some of them have been really old boats, some of them have been bigger, some of them have been really small, one was an inflatable. Um, I've even built boats from scratch, which has been a really fun process. But as you guys continue to remind me, boat restorations aren't for everyone. There's a lot of people here that want to see fishing vlogs, fishing videos, fishing tutorials, going out there and catching big fish. And as Beaker992 so eloquently put it, boat restorations are boring. Catch more fish. So Beaker, that's what we're doing in this very video. So in keeping with the theme of the channel, we're talking about small boats, random boats in places they probably don't belong, catching fish they probably don't deserve. That's what I'm doing, that's what this video is. We head out off the Sunshine Coast, that's where the adventure starts. So we took the boat offshore off the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, crossing the new Bribey Bar. Nah, there's something. Oh, yeah, buddy. I see him. Oh, they're just past the surf. Oh, no, they're, they're right there. We're going to get out of the bar. Yeah, I couldn't see any actual fish past here. But it doesn't mean there's not. I always forget how long this fucking thing casts. Ugh. We saw stacks of bait and birds right above them just outside the channel, but interestingly, nothing else busting up. Then we headed out straight wide out of the sunny coast towards the shipping channel. Yeah, there's a bust up out there. Oh, they're, dude, they're everywhere. There's some over there as well. They're not, they're not big. Oh, there's and there. Yeah, there, there's plenty around. Oh, bro, there's heaps of shit right in front of us. Like, literally right here. We spent probably three hours chasing Mac tuna that did not deserve to be chased. These things were nowhere near big enough and um, and really skittish. Oh so anytime God. you got close to them, they'd end up bailing. They were everywhere, though. They were all around the ocean. And literally for a couple of hours, we just sort of chased them around because it's all the only action we really saw. After a while, we headed right back towards the bar to that big bait school. It's probably the biggest bait school I've ever seen, and it was literally sitting just outside the surf line. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some hitting over there too. We were flicking plastics and little slugs, and then one lonely plastic that was drifting out the back, which, you know, just had about 20 metres of... of line spooled out and was just floating along the bottom there, got absolutely munched. Drifting plastic for the win. Drifting plastic, drifting plastic. Drifting Come on. Plastic. Drifting plastic for the win. I thought I got hit. Oh, that's so good. Oh, mate. There's so many over there. This is a good fish. Yeah, well, it doesn't have much depth because yeah. it, it doesn't really, can't go anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yes, come on. Stingray vibes, mate. A bit flatty. A big flatty? You kidding? If that's a flathead. No oh, there's another bus up just there. If that's a flatty, you've caught the elusive three metery. Yeah. I've got the 3MF. What the? What the f? That's a yellow. That's a. Um, Is that a yellow? No, I've caught one before. That's a. That's a G. Uh, not a G. Um, I caught one of these up at Rainbow. What the f was that? <laughs> um, these are such beautiful fish. They got big lips on them. Yes. Oh, he's big! Oh, he's fish. huge! Oh! Oh, Jesus! Tuna busting up literally right there. What? 
He's a monster! Oh my god, shooter are busting up right there. to learn that the plastics looked pretty close to the bait and then it was my turn. We're on. Still oh, recording. Far out. Hang on. Still recording. Holy <laughs> oh. <Whew>. Okay. <laughs> It could, it, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I can, I mean, I can tighten up a bit. Oh, that, those waves are breaking there, by the way. Are we going to drift into the waves? Yeah, do it. I literally just cast it straight into the, into that patch of paint in front of us. Not a shark, I can tell you that. Something. Oh, it's ridiculous. We are right next to that bait. It'd be really embarrassing if it's a grinner. 40. No, it's not a grinner. Well, so if it's a grinner, it's big. I wouldn't even be offended at a grinner that size. It could just be a little Mac tuna, though. Um, it's not like. That'd be very exciting. If there were two. Oh my, come on, come on. Can we see anything? Yeah. I, 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 I saw a silver. There he is, I can see something. Yeah. Holy sh Oh! Come on, Matty, be patient. You got this. Dude, dude. It's, it is! That's a longy! No, it's not. It's a trevally. Is it a trevally? It's a trevally. It looks bad enough. Oh, it is! Fuck yeah! A sesh! <sighs> Golden! Holy sh! They bring it around this side. Man, they're such pretty fish. How is it? How the hell? <laughs> how is this happening? It's pretty big! Yeah, dude. Yes! Bail arms open. Uh, beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Dude, what the Holy. Catching weird fish in weird places. Catching weird, that's what we do, bro. That's what we do. Holy sh! These are fucking. Do we have video here? Yeah, video. He's a lot smaller than yours. Oh, he's big, isn't he? Oh, Grunter! Oh, Grunty boy! Woo! Oh man, 
water fish. What little lips? Yeah. Just a little, what's that, three and a half inch plastic or something? Mate, yeah. what a fish. Amazing. Go. Gonna send him. Whoa! Splash boy! <laughs> Whoa! 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 What is happening? Seeds! <laughs> so, dude, so today what worked is not casting at bus stops. Yeah. What worked is casting at the bait school. Yeah. Which there was nothing busting up around it. These don't bust up, they just chase underneath. Yeah. He's on again, he's on again. What's he got? Oh, it's a little baby jeep. It's another micro jeep. Oh, that's a dart. Oh, a little dart. I guess we're technically in the surf. Oh, mate. <laughs> little dart. I thought I was on. Oh geez, they're not they're not small. Oh there's bait right under us, like next to the boat. We're in the middle of a bait school. Us. Come on, you dogs. Oh, mate. Couldn't have done that better if I tried. I did try really hard, actually. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Trally. Go. Um. Oh, that's what they're feeding on. I've got two. That's two on the board. <laughs> oh, it's gone right through it. Something take it. Oh, oh you got two. Oh, oh. All right, touch the leader. It's on. That's how many. That's how many bait fish there are. You literally, we're literally hooking them. Foul hooking them every cast. Is ready for you. Oh, this is huge. Is it? I was like, probably help you with that. Holy shit. He's right there. It's a big trevally. It's big. <laughs> Can you try and get a bigger one next time? I just feel like you're not trying very hard. Mate, that's ridiculous. So insane. How's you feeling? Tunery. Tunery? Mac tunery. Oh, Mac tunery. I mean, it's it's. It's the only thing you haven't gotten out of this school so far. Come on. Get this in and then we call it a day. What a sesh. What a sesh. What have we got today? We've gotten... I mean, you started with the worst fish in the ocean. A DQ. That was a disqualification for the whole day, no matter what. And that was a Grinner. You've landed two Trevally. 
and whatever this is, and then about what three, two, three dart and about 15 bait fish. Foul hooked. I've landed just the one Trevally, but I have also landed a few bait fish, also foul hooked. Whatever this is, this is big. The crazy thing is how close we are to shore. Look at, I mean, all of these dark patches of water, often they're clouds, there's not a cloud in the sky, that's bait. It is entire balls of bait. Insane. Uh, we've got colour on the surface. You know, if this is a spotty, that would just, I would lose my mind. Oh, if this is a spotty, I'll, I'll get emotional. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, I think it's I think it's a Mac tuna. You're right. I think I'm yeah. He's not super small, is he? Oh gosh, we're in the surf too. He'll, he'll spit a slug at you for sure, given the opportunity. Oh. Alright, this is where we don't want to throw up all that. Yeah, you're gonna get blood everywhere here if you don't do this carefully. Oh, that is hooked so well. Oh, I just don't get blood everywhere, mate. They, you know, they love to spit. He's a freaking little rocket ship, isn't he? I mean, it's sad they're so shit because it looks so. It's like, oh, gross! <laughs> Look at what he's been eating! Look at this perfect bait size. He just spat up. Okay, so that's actually a good comparison. Yeah. There's the lesson. So they're the bait that he's eaten. Yeah, throw a few of those bait fish next to it. And that's the slug. If that doesn't say match the hatch, I don't know what does. That is. I mean, you, you couldn't have gotten that closer. Just a little chrome slug, and that is that is the perfect size when you compare it to the bait that he's eaten. And he's obviously coughed up a thousand of them all over the boat. But that is what happens. What a sesh! That was pretty Mate, sick. you completed the... Bingo! I mean, it was the trifecta. I got fish bingo. You lose a point for the, um, for the grinner, but the dart, I think the dart that would actually cover the grinner. There you go. Good effort. All right. That was fun. That guy's gonna throw a cast net and get 50,000 fish. Like a bad idea. That is the worst idea I've ever seen. He's going to. He's gonna have a rough afternoon. He's gonna spend six hours. <laughs> He's gonna spend his whole fishing session. <laughs> I mean, he didn't actually throw it into it. Maybe that's maybe that's the strategy. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to net the trevally on the side. Can you imagine netting one of those trevally? Accidentally, accidentally yeah. netting the trevally. Cooking it so bad. Look at them coming right for us. Imagine casting there and then just throwing a brick of those bait fish into a blender. Put the burly for days. I never thought I would see the day that we're leaving and there is a bust up there. There is a bust up there and we are literally leaving because we're done for the day. That's insane. done and dusted obviously I could have done a better job filming on the day and recording more pieces to camera explaining what we were doing but um I still thought this one was worth sharing if you enjoyed this at all and you want me to do more please do me a favor hit the subscribe button it's completely free to do so and that little bit of motivation really helps push me forward to make more videos uh, feel free to give us any feedback below and yeah enjoy it keep fishing and I'll see you guys soon cheers guys